Hi, I'm Tara. And I'm Gemma. We're from the Drews, the Devonport Regional Gallery's Young Members Group. And tonight we're at an exhibition of printing, painting and jewellery. I'm talking with Brett Whiteley about the Touring Body Works exhibition. What do you think of this work? Look, it's terrific, Tara, and uh, what I'm really impressed about is the fact that the government has provided sufficient funds to make sure that exhibitions as good as this can actually make it to regional towns like Devonport. And I think what's really impressive is I can see a local Tasmanian artist work here in Phil Mason, so I think that's fantastic, and Phil's here tonight, which is terrific. I'd like to know a little bit more about what inspired you for this exhibition. So, I was inspired by... Um, the, well, the northwest and uh, the the kind of dynamic and the the dynamics and the complexities of um, the sort of uh, industrial um, types of things that are occurring there, but also the um, the natural environment and and the sort of dichotomies and the um, and the um, conversations that are that sort of occur between those varying um, sort of uh, streams of society and uh, so I guess I was inspired to um, make something of um, uh, sort of putting these things within within one space but not being overly um, uh, specific about you know relating to these things just doing it more of an in more of an abstract way but I guess yeah. So just talking about sort of like I guess the 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 black square is like a reference to a few different things, but um, it could be a reference to like a screen of some sort. And then there's a sort of more emotional type of uh, gestural thing happening with the 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 Tassie Devil silhouette, which is kind of referencing more sort of um, uh, yeah emotional sort of primitive kind of in- instinctual things. So you know it's just those things that are relating back and forwards to one another. I'm here with Dunya, curator of the collections at Devonport Regional Gallery. Tell us about your collections. Well, we actually have a huge collection that we've just relocated into a new storage facility. And I guess this show came together really quickly to accompany the bodywork exhibition from National Gallery of Australia. Uh, and so we were able to, because we had the new storage facility, we were able to pull this exhibition together um, fairly quickly, I think. Yeah. So what one stands out to you the most? Well, the theme of this exhibition is solitary. So I wanted to focus on an individual work of art to coincide with this idea that jewellery or individual pieces uh, in, stand in their own right. So I started thinking about pieces in our collection that might represent a single object or an individual singular object. So um, all of them, I guess, feature one um, item and the way that they deal with that item is very different. So um, I guess one of my favourites is um, this particular work by Kay Green and it is uh, almost like a geological... Um, section of earth that's been taken out and analysed um, but it, it is a beautiful print, it's one of her early works and her work is very different now but the gallery at the time acquired this and um, so it's very analytical and that's what I really liked about it. It sits right in the middle of Helen Wright's work and Helen Wright's series Impossible Flower analyzes particular um, or actually doesn't analyze but it portrays individual flowers as if there might be a type of a flower um, in themselves but they're very abstract they're very whimsical and they're very imaginatory so um, we've got these um, this work right in the middle of this series so that the viewer can start thinking about analyzing each work in its own right without thinking about the series Thank you so much, Dunya, for your time. You're welcome. <laughs>